I'm okay. Yes. Yes, I'm, I'm fine, thank you. Because I, I know that's, yeah. that's the question du jour yeah. um, at this morning. Um, I, I spent some time at the weekend talking to whistleblowers from ITV, including people who work and have worked in this morning. It seems like a very unhappy place. Um, are you satisfied with the duty of care that the editorial team and senior managers provide to staff, especially young staff working there and at ITV more generally? Um, Mr. Nukasa, I mean, I, I think there's a there's a, uh, a very sophisticated uh, and a significant system of safeguarding uh, and duty of care at ITV, uh, with a very significant uh, set of policies. Um, uh, we have a, a, a code of conduct uh, which sets out our expectations about how people behave. Uh, and that deals with uh, a number of different issues from equal opportunities to respect at work, dignity uh, and understanding. And then we, we then have an important set of uh, requirements uh, which hold people to account internally. Why are so many of the staff so unhappy, uh, former and current staff? I, I, I can't answer that question at, at the moment, Mr Nicholson. Uh, as you know, we've also appointed uh, 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 Jane Mulcahy, uh, a KC, to have a look at the circumstances. Yes, uh, I know. You already had an inquiry, and of course, and we'll come on to this on the 14th in more detail, but several of the claims that ITV made about that previous inquiry don't seem to quite hold water on closer inspection. What do you make about the bullying allegations that we've heard uh, over the last week? Do I make of them? Yeah. What do you make? What do you make of them? Well, As a senior uh, ITV um, we, we, of official, what do you feel when you hear staff complain about bullying? Because that's the worst thing you can possibly hear, surely. Yeah. As a as a senior manager. No, look, we take our responsibilities in relation to safeguarding and duty of care very seriously. Uh, bullying is absolutely in breach of our code of conduct. It's very clearly set out. We have a set of policies around bullying, <coughs> bullying and harassment at work. And clearly, it's unaccept bullying is unacceptable. If we if we find if we find bullying, it's inconsistent with our policy. We'd expect people to report it, and we'd expect it to be dealt with appropriately. And, and of course, will, the person they reported in the first instance would be the editor of the program. Now, we all saw yesterday that surreal performance by the editor of the program, who, when he was being asked by a reporter from Sky about bullying on the program, started talking about aubergines. It was surreal. And bizarre, I think most people watching that would have thought, this is the person who's responsible for safeguarding young staff. He's being outrageously dismissive and flippant on camera about an immensely serious issue. I wouldn't like to have been a young staffer going and talking to that editor about bullying, given that that's the way he treats the subject matter on camera in public. Let me reassure you, Mr. Nicholson, uh, that we take it, we take these issues very seriously. But what about what and he said? Why, and that, well, I would I wouldn't endorse what he said. Uh, in fact, you agree I, it's I, bizarre. I, I I I wouldn't use that word. Uh, what word would you use? I, I'd I'd certainly say it was ve it was extremely ill judged. Uh, to say what he did, uh, but look, I can reassure you on behalf of ITV that we do take uh, all of these allegations very seriously, precisely because we do have a culture uh, uh, in which people's conduct it matters enormously to us. Is ITV. his position secure after that? Uh, that's not a question for, for me, and it's not a question for now. Uh, as you know, one of the, one of the ways in which we're, we're demonstrating that we're taking this seriously is by appointing a very senior KC who's got very significant experience uh, in dealing with HR issues and particularly sensitive investigations um, because there are, there are multiple things we have to take into account here around privacy and so on as you will appreciate and it's appropriate that actually the KC establishes the facts gets to the bottom of, uh, of what's happened and that's exactly what we're doing.